Did you know that the September 23rd, 2017 uh, prophecy came from a guy just throwing stats around? You know, some guy was just sitting there throwing stats around what looks like it could equal out to something due to the star alignment, due to some of the things that's written inside of uh, Revelations and uh, 12 and other things that he pointed out with the, the wars and stuff before and so it just started out with stats you know and he was saying on his video that by no means that he mean that anything was going to happen it just looked very peculiar you know and so people took off with that the Christian world grabbed that and took off with it you know and uh, now you got what you got today that the whole internet is loaded with this uh, September 23rd end of the world uh, prophecy and I don't want to put crap at the end of it because we don't know that's why I would say prophecy crap but we don't know because even I I've been studying the book for a long time and you know you, you got the Sabbath day happening there you got the alignment happening there you got a lot of things that's happening uh, that is fulfilling or looking like the signs of the prophecy you know really looking like them and then you got even the scientists saying that uh, the Nibiru is supposed to be doing a nasty little flyby with meteorites around that time so you got a lot of things going on and then when you get the government movement and all that with that you know and you get all these government planning and everything uh, it's starting to look like a nasty month for September and so basically if that prophecy is correct and I'm not saying it is and if you go back and watch all my videos I'm not saying that prophecy is correct you know I'm saying I don't know and neither do they no man knows the time and I, always, I started one video with that because people always want to say oh you you debt set I mean you date set set I don't set dates and so um, if something pops off or is supposed to pop off uh, in on September 23rd then the war would have to start right before then because the great day of the Lord cannot happen the delivery can't happen the birth pains can't happen until the war happens first so if we take a look at Joel and Ezekiel we'll start with Joel 3 and it will say uh, proclaim this among the Gentiles prepare for war wake up the mighty men let all the men a war draw near let them come and then he also says in there you know uh, I will also gather all the nations and bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and it's about Israel it, you know you can't take Israel out of it and I will plead with them there for my people, and that's Israel, and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations. And we know anybody who's studying right now hard, you know that to be the African American, or so-called African American. <laughs> no other people were scattered among the nations and sold into slavery like that. <laughs> and you know, and no other people remain to be. Uh, looked down upon and um, pretty much crucified in this world for their skin color you know uh, except you know us anyway and like I said a lot of people could read the books and they, they don't get it and then we'll go to Ezekiel 38 and, and it's about us again and it says and you shall come up against my people of Israel you know as he said in the last one the ones you scattered among the nations you sold on the transatlantic slave trade as a cloud to cover the land it shall be in the later days so we know at the end times and I will bring up I will bring thee against my land and that's the land without walls that the heathen may know me when I shall be sanctified in thee and that's us when I shall be sanctified in thee, O God, before their eyes. Their eyes is us. You know. 
sanctified. So, you know, proven true. Thus says the Lord. So, it says, And it shall come to pass at the same time when Gog shall come against the land of Israel, says the Lord God, that my fury shall come up in my face. And so, what's going to happen? He says, I will plead against him with pestilence and with blood, and I will rain upon him and upon his bands and upon many people that are with him an overflowing rain and great hailstones, fire and brimstones, what we know to be a meteor shower. <coughs> so, with this war comes right, comes right after it a meteor shower. You know, and uh, the godly people are hoping like hell they don't get hit. They don't get struck. And it could be the verse that says, uh, a thousand to fall by your, your, your left hand and ten thousand by your right and nothing's going to touch you. You know, you're going to be unscathed. And so, um, if that prophecy is correct then, then the war should, I mean, and it should have to start September. And it would have to start probably before September 23rd, which means that you got days left if if this is correct. And then, as I know, my Lord, He does things His way, you know. And so, uh, it may be before, or it may be after, you know. And then you got the you got the scenario already set up with okay. Uh, Korea just shot two missiles over Japan. You know, Korea is being the shit starter. You know, they always got to have the bad guy. You know, Hussein. Uh, what's the other one? Gaddafi. You know, they always got to make a bad guy. Uh, what's the other guy that in the mountains? I forget his name. That they said looked like Barack Obama. Anyway, the, the Taliban. They they always got to have an enemy that they offer you. Here's your enemy. You know that you don't know, you never heard of, and unless we told you about them, you know, silly ass shit. Now it's North Korea with they devil worshiping asses. Uh, from Dennis Rodman to a lot of people that say they just want to be fucking left alone, <laughs> for real, you know. But we don't know. But anyway, we know this war is getting ready to start, and uh, well, it has to start according to uh, Revelations, but. It ain't going to start until um, God wants it to. And neither is the end going to be till God wants it to. People can dates, de a date set or set dates, uh, do date setting, but it's in vain because they always get proved to be liars, you know. And so I would say maybe a possibility. And if it was to go down, it would have to go down this month. Then I say it again. It has to go down this war this month. And I'm not stupid. I mean, I may be dumb sometimes, but I'm not stupid. Uh, anyway, I am preparing. Because I know something is getting ready to go down. You can see all the signs. You know. So y'all tell me what y'all think. Raptor News.